What's going on guys, Mikkel here, and in this video, we have some super interesting information to get into. Do we finally have proof that JP Morgan may have been one of the most significant players in driving this Ripple SEC case? The document I'm about to show you regarding this is going to blow your mind. It tells us that JP Morgan has had Ripple in its crosshairs for a very long time now and are threatened by the product that Ripple is bringing to the market. You guys are not going to believe this, and I think it goes a long way in showing what the true intentions behind this Ripple SEC case may have been. We also have some brand new documents out of Ripple that discuss how long they believe the current Ripple SEC case will go on for. I saw multiple lawyers on Twitter analyzing this. You guys are definitely going to want to stick around for that. I think it gives us a very good idea of what the worst case scenario for how much longer this case could be, you guys are definitely going to want to stick around for that. If you guys are new to this channel or come here all the time, make sure to like and subscribe. It is such an easy way for you to support this channel for free and means so much to me. If you guys do not have an Uphold account already, make sure to sign up using the link in the description below. With that said though, let's jump right into it and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So guys, I want to start out by going over some of this JP Morgan stuff because I believe this says so much about what some of the true intentions behind this case really were. And I believe it's going to tell us a lot about everything we're watching take place right now between Ripple and the SEC. Right here out of XRP wins, May 2018, JP Morgan applies for a blockchain patent described as an exact copy of of Ripple. And when was this article written? May of 2018. This is huge because this shows us that JP Morgan has had a close eye on Ripple since 2018. JP Morgan has been throwing head fakes at the crypto market. Back in 2018, Jamie Dimon was going around saying, anyone who talks about Bitcoin at my company will be fired immediately. Bitcoin's a fraud. All at the meanwhile, his company was trying to steal patents from Ripple and design their own blockchain distributed system to do exactly what Ripple is trying to do in the market. This tells us that JP Morgan knows that Ripple and XRP are a significant threat to their business and a lot of what we're watching right now could have this at its heart. I tweeted out uh, in, in response to this, wow, this is so much about everything we are watching right now. And something super interesting along with the fact that JP Morgan had clearly had Ripple in its eyesight for a long time as they understood Ripple was disrupting a lot of their business. A very significant quote that always comes back to my mind is when Gary Gensler was saying, it's the startups who are always allowed to break the rules. The startups are always allowed to get a head start while the larger businesses and the incumbents are held back by policy and rules. Right here, we, had a, we have out of JP Morgan, their Onyx blockchain system, digital solution enabling instant transfer and clearing of multi-bank, multi-currency assets. What does that sound like? That sounds exactly like Ripple. We can also see if we go back here, we can see that currently deployment is waiting on internal review and regulatory approval. So right here, we see JP Morgan is developing their digital solution for enabling transfers and clearing of multi-bank currency assets, and it's waiting on regulatory approval. Well, who is in charge of that? Gary very Gensler. So what? So exactly like John Deaton said, it was always about buying time. The lawsuit was a weapon and Gary Gensler is dragging it out even though he knows he's going to lose until his investors tell him not to or in, until his investors let it go. So what Leseret or Stephen Hubert is saying right here is he's saying he believes Gary Gensler and the SEC used this lawsuit to stall Ripple's progress. J JP Morgan and the other big banks knew Ripple was making significant strides and really taking over the entire landscape of what would end up being a future financial system. What this lawsuit was done 
or was used to buy time for the incumbents so they could catch up. And the only way to do that was using regulatory frameworks to essentially put the brakes on Ripple and allow companies like JP Morgan to build in the background. Then with the flip of the switch, it would all be released and suddenly JP Morgan was allowed to catch up to Ripple's massive lead. Now, this might sound scary to you, but I'm going to show you guys why I am actually not worried about almost anything JP Morgan is doing, and that is because the system that they're building lacks the technological features that make Ripple and XRP, or what is going to make Ripple and XRP, the most significant player in this space by a mile. Based on what JP Morgan says about their own system, it is a permission system that serves payments rails and deposit account ledgers that allows participating JP Morgan clients to transfer US dollars held on deposit with JP Morgan within the system. So JP Morgan is really building an internal permissioned settlement system. There's no doubt in my mind they have plans to expand out of this, but so far it seems centralized, permissioned, and limited to JP Morgan clients transferring US dollars based on their own reports. Now, this is a huge problem and goes against everything cryptocurrency stands for. This is why I believe this solution is ultimately going to fail. And if you want to know more about why I believe Ripple and XRP have such a huge advantage over the current JP Morgan system, then make sure you watch my video on that and I'll link it at the end of this one. Overall, though, it seems to me that Ripple has a way better product than than what JP Morgan has to offer. And this whole thing reminds me so much of when Tesla was starting to take the lead in EVs. There were so many different regulators, so many news agencies, so many people spreading FUD about how Tesla would fail and Ford would take over. Even though Ford had all the money, they had all the power with the media and the regulators, Tesla still passed them because they built something that was fundamentally and was always going to be better than the incumbents. That's what Ripple has, and I believe no matter how how much people like JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs try to slow Ripple down, they will never be able to build a product as good or as technologically advanced as Ripple and XRP, so no matter what kind of shady tricks they try to pull, they will always be left in the background. And I want to play you this clip by uh, Chris Larson, because I think after you listen to this, you're going to realize that Ripple has always been a step ahead of everyone else and it's going to take a lot more than this bs case for jp morgan to weasel their way into this rather than being an internet system so we need th that internet of value to to be developed and that's what we spend our time working on is a replacement for swift and correspondent banking how do you get all of the payment providers all of the wallets uh, onto ilp and then how to use xrp as on-demand liquidity so that all of these providers don't have to keep balances all over the world because the process is so inefficient. And we think that's the winning kind of killer app. And then I think you last, last group talked about a Cambrian explosion. Yeah. Then you get that Cambrian explosion. Decentralized, permissionless, interoperable, all on ILP using XRP as the bridge. In my opinion, this is the system that wins. Ripple has had this vision from the start. It is clear JP Morgan has only tried to backpack on everything Ripple has already been doing for the industry. I think this will fail and I think Ripple keeps their lead just like Tesla did. I saw this image and I thought it broke down what we were we are currently watching perfectly. I just kind of wanted to describe it to you because I believe it looks a little chaotic at first but once you take a second to really visualize everything it kind of blows your mind it's exactly what we're seeing we see all the retail folks flying towards things like Shiba, Solana, and Bitcoin, which I believe will all be valuable, but nothing compared to what XRP and something like Ethereum are already accomplishing behind the scenes. XRP significantly more so, but we do also know that there are big players behind Ethereum. So even though, as we can see, Ethereum has the band-aids on it because it's a broken system, there is no doubt in our mind that JP Morgan and Chase and other um, established 
incumbents are using Ethereum and there are also other banks using XRP. Unfortunately, JP Morgan and Chase and all the other banks that are using Ethereum have failed to take into account the fact that the technology just simply isn't there. So we have all these big players going towards to hit the Ethereum iceberg where eventually their plans will fail because the technology isn't there to support what they want to do. All while the meanwhile, Ripple has the technology, the submarine to build a new financial system in secret and all the big players are behind them jp morgan is trying to flex their muscles with their ethereum product all while ripple has the big boys behind them and only the smartest people who are willing to dig deep and dive into this can understand what ripple has really built and the only thing holding ripple back right now is regulations once this anchor is cut and ripple is released from the grasps of the sec there's no doubt in my mind that the value will flood behind XRP and Ripple will take over the financial landscape for not only cross-border payments, but building an entire new financial system. Let's keep moving though, and I wanted to show you guys this super interesting document out of Ripple regarding to when they believe the worst case scenario of when this case between themselves and the SEC could be over with. This was brought to us by Stefan Hubert, but like I said, this was a filing out of Ripple regarding actually a class action lawsuit against them. Some salty XRP holders were mad that they lost money uh, investing at the top of a bull run. They filed a BS class action lawsuit lawsuit doesn't really matter the thing that we need to understand is ripple has chosen to start um go or fighting this case november 18th of 2022 ripple is currently in a very very significant case against the sec there is no way they would be stacking another lawsuit on top of that if they didn't already know that this other case between the sec was likely going to be over with before this lawsuit started this is a very good indication that ripple believes its case with the sec will be over by november 18th also, Ripple points out in this document that many of the issues currently taking place in the SEC case are also issues in this upcoming case. So they are saying, oh, it would be a lot more efficient and make a lot more sense if we finished up this other case. And that way, when we went into this new case, we wouldn't have to be fighting about all the same issues at the same time. We hammer out a lot of these issues in the first case, and then we could take care of the stragglers in the second one. Jeremy Hogan agrees, and he says, I agree that pushing back to November indicates the belief that Ripple vs. SEC litigation will be over by then. So this is a great indication that November 18th, 2020, 22 is likely the worst case scenario of when we should expect this case to start wrapping up. Now, it's also important to take into account that this case could settle at any time. And there's no doubt in my mind that Ripple likely also probably wants to give its lawyers probably at least a week break before they shove them into the next litigation battle. Either way, though, this is great. And it shows us that there is a day in the future where this thing will be over with. Court cases do not go forever. And at the end of the day ripple had the chance to completely ignore this case to start with brad garlinghouse said chris and i had the option to settle this separately we could do that and it would all be behind us that's how confident chris and i are that we are right we will aggressively fight and prove our case ripple is going to come out on the right side of this and i know this has taken a long time but just remember ripple is on the right side of the law lawsuits do and xrp will be freed ripple will ipo and probably become one of the most powerful companies in the entire world those who had the patience to see this and those who understood what was being built behind the scenes the submarine under all the uh head fakes and fud that is the company xrp is going to be the asset that transforms the financial system Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope everyone had a nice weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. But for now, Mickle out.